But because Ed's in Melbourne, you've got me for the markets today. So let's take a look broadly after the big fall yesterday, which was replicated in foreign markets overnight. Our market today was, well, fairly lacklustre. You can see it here, the ASX 200 at the close, just up 0.1 of a percent, eight points, give or take. IT shares, again, were the best performers, along with utilities. Now, the very best performer by far was the data collection business app. And in recent times, its share price has been subject to wild, wild swings. Today, it was on a massive tear, up by about 30%. A month ago, Appen was just 27 cents. You can see here it's a dollar eight, but they were suspended around 1 p.m. The ASX stepped in, and, and, and Appen now must answer a series of questions, and they're going to remain suspended until trading starts in two days' time. Also high there, you can see, is Mesoblast, the biotech, up by 23%, and also the buy now, pay later, Zip. It continues to recover up 6% today. Again, steel and iron ore companies were hit hard. BHP and its old subsidiary, Bluescope, solid falls. You can see BHP down 0.7 of a percent. Bluescope pretty much similar. Fortescue also down 1.1% to close it out. Now, among those going backwards the fastest, there was Domino's Pizza down 2.5% today. Um, it's been a bit all over the place. Whitehaven Coal, that got caught up in the resources thing. Champion Iron down 3.5% there. Also a similar story as well. It's about China really more than anything else. Here's Bitcoin. Have a look at this. It did touch a new record, 72,000 US overnight. It's come off that a little bit, but you can see in the past day or so, still up by another 4%. Wow, have a look at that. It's incredible seeing it was $28,000 just a short time ago.